In this video, I'm going to talk about how to pull data uh, from Yahoo on the option chain. So in the option chain page, you have a strike price, uh, a contract name. You have a last price and you have an implied volatility. Now, if you look at the source, the strike price is uh, uh, given as a value, let us say that thing and you have all other things so if we can catch uh, this element by class where the name of the class is uh, option entry fzn then we can actually pull these numbers so when we run this we get uh, uh, this percent and the name of uh, the option so then this way we can keep pulling it the code says that all HTML is HTML, all element is object, and data was as well, yet we don't need this, so I'm going to clean this up. Then it says that set all HTML is equal to new HTML document. Uh, uh, this is like getting a new document, then he gets the document, and then he, he's, he puts up everything by class name, which is this class. Once everything is arranged in a particular way, and once everything is working in the loop, uh, we don't need uh, a lot of things. We just need to have a line number uh, to put uh, and call things here and there on the right and the left. And when we do it over that uh, O element and the inner text, so everything will be in the O element for all of the classes. And then using the classes, we can uh, rotate around and get this number. Now what I plan to do this number, let me see if 6, there is something 6000 with a 0 volatility. Yes, there is. Okay, now what I plan to do with this number is I would probably take uh, uh, the minimum of uh, this number as the uh, implied volatility that I want to take. 